Welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who's returning. My name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren. And on my channel, I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm an integrative nutritionist, authenticity coach, Reiki practitioner, and psychic medium. All right. So I help you guys connect with your intuition, with your spirit guides, and with your life purpose and help you move forward on your healing journey. All right. So if you guys like that, stick around. Um, I'm going to do the uh, weekly reading. All right, I'm going to do the weekly reading for today. So the first row is the overall energy for the week. The middle row is uh, potential challenges and obstacles. And the third row is the guidance from your spirit guides, your higher power. Okay. All right. So let me know, guys. Do you need what what area of life do you need clarity in? What area of life do you feel like you're in the dark? I know a lot of you are going to say life purpose. I know that for sure. Um, but I feel like a lot of relationship stuff, maybe too, career path, things of that nature. Where do y'all need clarity? Family, health and wellness, career, love. Yeah, you guys are all over. You guys are all over. All right, so we're going to see what clarity we can get for this week, okay? So that's what we're going to do through the tarot, maybe some oracle. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But um, really quick before I get into the reading, guys, uh, we do have a 30K like goal every morning. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. Um so you help us reach our goal. You're part of our soul family now. So please tap, tap, tap. Um, and also if you're vibing with my energy, your intuition is like, you know what? She's part of my soul family. Please give me a follow. I would really appreciate it. Um, and make sure to hit that little arrow on the bottom of the screen to share the live. If you feel people in your circle would benefit from my energy. Okay. I appreciate the love. All right. Thank you for all the likes, y'all. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the follows. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you so, so much. But let's do this. God's Earth Universe, Divine Creator of all things. What? What? Whew. What do we need to know about this week? And what clarity is coming? Oh, shit. That, you guys. Holy crap. Let's see. Queen of Swords, right? There's that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You do not have to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's just the energy. It's air energy. So what did I say? Communication could be from an older female. Um, could be um, it could. I'm getting like HR or something like that. Could be uh, news on a job if you're waiting on a job or something like that. Could be um, communicating with an older female this week. Um. But in a very, like, matter-of-fact way, okay? Um, yeah, Knight of Cups and then the Hermit. Death. Whoa. Okay, so major transformation. This is um, Scorpio energy. All right, now this could be a move, okay, like a physical move. But the Death card is saying overall energy of the week that, you guys, after this week, you're like, some aspect of your life is never going to be the same. I recommend looking at your natal chart, okay, um, where, what house Scorpio falls in, okay, that'll tell you where you're going to have, like, big, big time transformation this week, okay, so just take a look where that falls, all right, um, but anyway, it doesn't have to be HR, but I feel like there's going to be some level of communication regarding a, the direction you want to go in life. Okay. Now this could be clarity on your life purpose. I feel like this is also you being very clear regarding like moving forward with some area in your spirituality. Okay. Um, maybe some of you guys are opening up to new areas of spirituality. Maybe you guys finally this week are, are like, you know what, this, these are my beliefs and take it or leave it. Like, this is just me. Like, and that's it. All right. Unapologetic about something that you feel very passionately about. Um, but you're just very matter of fact, like this is me. Here I am. OK. Um, but also with the hermit. <laughs> this is what I said before about the reacting versus responding. 
if you guys need to go into hermit mode to get into the right headspace so you can respond in a calm, emotional way, please do that. Because this major transformation, big changes coming this week are not easy. Okay, um, but let's let's clarify a little bit. We have temperance. This could be regarding a Sagittarius. Um, for some of you, this is confirmation that sharing this this new platform, this new belief system, this new direction in your life that you are being spiritually guided to, um, that you are on the right path. All right, this is confirmation from spirit saying keep going because this spiritual path. It could also be a business as well is even though it feels like you may feel conflicted about it, it's okay because it is the right path for you. Um, some people may be kind of coming in and saying, don't do this. All right. Um, or this is a call for you guys to like find more balance, um, with your emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. So if you guys are um, not taking care of all of those buckets, your health and wellness, your emotional wellness, um, and your spiritual wellness, it's time to kind of find that balance. Just make sure this is playing. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of you guys have been really conflicted about a manifestation coming in. All right. You, there's manifestation coming in here for you guys. Um, this could have something to do with your life purpose. Um, could be having something to do with travel, maybe higher level of education, but really like if you guys were conflicted at all about your life purpose this week, you are going to be abundantly clear about it. Okay. Like there's not going to be any more of this like inner conflict. And if anyone comes into your space and tries to be like, why are you going to, why are you pursuing that? I feel like it, it, I feel like the manifestation coming in is like the proof is in the pudding and you have the proof that you were meant to pursue this. Okay. Um, again, could be offered something seven of cups spoiled for choice. Just again, do not choose from an emotional place. Really tap into that logical, um, balanced side of yourself. Okay. With that seven of cups, these could be job offers. This could be an opportunity to actually go after this, this business idea. Um, maybe go after a relationship, maybe leave a relationship, but you guys are not going to be conflicted regarding what makes you feel free. Okay. So what type of freedom are you guys wanting to manifest? Because it's coming through this week. I feel like this is spiritual freedom in some sense. Like sp I'm hearing spirit, your spirituality will set you free. A lot of you guys have been doing like mindset reframing, a lot of mindset reframing, if that makes sense. King of cups, you guys, King of cups has been coming out for, in my personal readings, like crazy, so King of Cups can represent um, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or someone of authority um, who is not who's not emotionally connected to like this outcome or like what the offer is for you. But this offer is going to bring in a lot of like stability, like, oh, like I can breathe again. OK, um, but let's clarify the King of Cups. Yeah. Queen of swords, king of cups. I feel like there's some sort of decision that's been made. That's going to bring in a lot of balance, a lot of freedom, possibly a trip or travel, possibly a trip or travel. This may have happened already. And maybe you guys are making a decision on it this week. I don't know. Oh shit. Dude. I can't make this up. Page of swords. Okay. So communication coming in. All right. Could be an email, could be a phone call, all right? Pages are usually messengers, okay? And this, again, more air energy. Remember, I said we had Mercury opposing Pluto, that we have this transit where information is coming up. It could be positive information. I don't know. It's transformative in nature. Some transformations are really positive, right? Not all change is bad, okay? So there is change coming this week, but I, I feel like it's something you guys have been wanting, okay? And some, it, it, there's a lot of con, like, you were like, this is not happening. I feel, okay, this is the energy. I'm, there we go. There's that fear. 
the fear was making you very conflicted. I feel like your energy was like, yeah, it's going to happen. Like you were so excited about it. And then you're like, fuck it. It's never going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. Nah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. Nah, it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? It's like black and white thinking, like very teeter totter. Okay. And fear and anxiety over like, when is this opportunity fucking coming? When is this change coming? Okay. This emotional stability, stability. I feel like you guys are settling down maybe with some of you may be getting communication from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, a divine masculine, um, regarding movement, like moving forward in a relationship, um, maybe actually moving. Um, to me, this is giving me energy. If you're buying a house or a property or renting or something, um, uh, I feel like the seller has made the decision and you're going to get the information this week. Okay. With that eight of wands, this is very quick. Again, this could be a job offer. This could be, um, communication coming in about a relationship or something that you're passionate about, something that you want to move forward on. And this is quick communication. Okay. You're going to have to make a quick decision on this because the, the energy behind it is electric. Okay. And it, emperor, some of you guys are stepping into a leadership role. Let me know if you guys are stepping into, um, a leadership role, whether that's a higher level position career wise, maybe entrepreneurship, a business, um, or just like not letting people walk all over you. It could be as general as that, not allowing people to walk all over. You're like, no, I'm the fucking emperor. Okay. I'm a, I'm, I'm a boss. Yeah, this is big time. Remember, guys, this is a general collective, too, so I'm trying to hit all the marks for everybody. So this is confirmation for you guys. Confirmation. Okay, so let's see uh, what the potential challenges are. Are you guys ready for that? Comment ready. Mm, okay. Uh, uh, okay. For a lot of you, ready. Yeah. A lot of you guys are like, what are the fucking challenges? What do I have to deal with this week? <laughs> I want to know to you guys. I'm part of the collective too, man. Listen, listen. Um, okay. There's something else coming through also. Um, no matter what, no matter what's going on in your life, I feel like you guys have thought very objectively about working with a mentor, whether that's in uh, a mentor to help guide you through this transformation, um, a mentor to help you with your business, a mentor to help you work through things, but from a spiritual level. Okay. To me, this would be like, um, someone who can channel divine guidance, but also give you real world practical steps, having both. Okay. Channeled guidance, but with real world practical steps. Okay. This is the guidance, but this is how you carry it out. Does that make sense? Cause I, I feel like you guys need direction and help. You're like, okay, I'm going through this big transformation. I want to make change, but I definitely need help in this department. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Okay. Tiff, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tiff. Um, yeah, I, and I'm saying this because I, it's in the cards. I mean, Queen of Swords, uh, Knight of Cups and the Hermit. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, if anyone is, let me know if you guys are vibing with my energy because, um, I do spiritual, um, coaching, spiritual guidance, authenticity coaching and all that fun stuff. So spiritual mental, like, a like being a, an authenticity mentor. Okay. If that makes sense, an authenticity mentor, authenticity coach, um, but including spiritual guidance. All right. So let me know if you guys are vibing with my energy and would like to work with me one-on-one. -on -one, okay. I always like to ask, but let's see what the, what the potential challenges are for us. Let's see. Don't let pride get in the way. Don't let your ego get in the way, all right? This is full moon in Leo energy. Leo is very front and center, um, very like authentic self. 
don't let pride get in the way. To me, this is like, don't let someone else's pride get in the way. Okay. Don't let someone else's ego get in the way of your vibe. Okay. Don't let someone get in the way of what you're trying to pursue. Um, that makes you feel truly like you are embracing your authenticity. Okay. This is also your ego. So the ego, for example, and everyone who's saying they want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, um, just hang out for a little bit. I'll, I'll talk about it in just a second. Um, but your ego wants to keep you in a box. Okay. Your ego is meant to protect your physical body. You do need your ego, but from a spiritual and emotional maturation perspective, meaning emotional and spiritual maturity and growth, your ego doesn't really do much for you. Okay. So the ego is trying to dull your shine, kind of keep you in this box where you don't embrace your most authentic self, maybe through fear, fear of judgment. Um, I'm not going to be accepted for who I am, especially if I have spiritual gifts, if my spiritual like uh, choices or my choices in life, my career choices, relationship choices are not in alignment with what people expect of me because I've just played this role that really has not been my most authentic self my entire life. And I'm ready to be my most authentic self. I'm ready to show the world the real me, but I'm scared shitless. Okay. Does that make sense? So don't let the ego get in the way this week, you guys. All right. Full moon in Libra. Um, the challenge is that you don't see the win-win outcome. Things are coming into balance. Now, the full moon, the full moon in Libra is going to highlight. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. I talked about this. The full moon in Libra, the Libra, the Libra, Libra represents the scales. It's own, it owned, oh my God, ruled by Venus. Okay. Um, Venus is associated with themes around relationships, especially with the self, um, money, career, things you're passionate about. Okay. Um, so, and balance in all those departments. So a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay. But the caveat to the, to this, the challenge is some things that are highlighted that are out of balance, you need to bring back into balance. So what is being shown to you Maybe you guys are a little apprehensive about letting certain things go because full moons are about culminations, release. We got two full moon cards though. So culminations, also manifestation. Full moons are when you should start to see manifestation. Okay, so this week, you guys should really start to be seeing manifestations coming through um, based on intentions that were set in the beginning of January, three days before, three days after January 2nd of 2022, because that's when the new moon in Capricorn was. We just had the full moon in Capricorn. Okay. And then ah, new moon in Libra, a new cycle, what a new romantic cycle begins. Now a new romantic cycle is not just relationships, but it is too, but a new romantic cycle where you're like in love with life again. You're in love with your career. You're in love with yourself because you're, you're recalibrating like this week, I feel like is a recalibration week, which makes a lot of sense because next week is when we do have a new moon. I believe it is in Libra actually. Um, let me like double check that. Hold on a second. I do think the new moon is in Libra next week. Hold on. No, it's sorry. It's in Leo. Okay. New moon in Leo next week. Anyway, the challenge is this new cycle. You may have to leave some things and some people behind. Okay. Um, so letting go of people, of um, situations, of old jobs, like walking away is difficult. So for example, when I started my my business, I walked away from a very lucrative well-paying job. Okay. I worked a nine to five. I worked for a company, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, so leaving that behind was scary as shit, but I knew that I had to step into my most authentic self, right? I took the leap of faith and you guys, I never looked back. My business thrives. I work I work smarter, not harder. I work less than I did. Um, and I make a lot more, but I, I love life more. I get to enjoy life more, I get to experience more. You get what I'm saying? Um, but let's see if anything comes through the tarot 
regarding challenges. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. We got a 30K like goal. Let's do it. Yeah, strength. I told you guys, you got to face your fears. Challenges is facing your fears and um, approaching people who trigger you with compassion. Remember, I said Venus and Cancer it could be heightened emotional reactions, not well thought out responses. Okay, so challenge with the strength card is facing your fears, but also approaching people that are triggering you with compassion, with empathy. Look, I, I told you guys this. I told you. Look, seven of swords. So strength to face people who've been lying. I, I, I told you, Mercury opposing Pluto today. Information coming out a prop that you were unaware of. This could be deception, lying, st literally stealing, okay? So um, be prepared. <laughs> this week, be prepared for whatever information's coming out because... It, it's, it may be upsetting. We got two full moon cards. Like I said, don't let your ego get in the way. Don't come from a space of